Hello everybody and welcome back to the Oxford Formula as we bring you the ultimate guide to colleges at Oxford and at Cambridge and today we're delighted to have Lizzie and Emily with us. Hi. Um, giving you a first hand insight into the real life at Newnham College in Cambridge. So it's great to have you here today. Um, let's get to know you. Could you tell us what subjects it is you do and for how long have you been at Newnham? Um, I do HSPS, which is Human, Social and Political Sciences, and I've just finished first year. So, yeah, I finished first year as well, and um, I'm doing philosophy. Nice. Okay, so congratulations on me making it one year through. Um, I assume that you have still a couple to go at the college. Um, maybe just to kind of tell people out there who perhaps Noonan isn't a familiar name to them. What would you say is like just one thing that defines the identity of your college? Um, <laughs> explain. I think Newnham appealed to me as like it's kind of um, probably the most happy medium between like an old college with pretty architecture and like a bit more of a forward thinking college. Like usually it kind of seems like you have to pick one or the other, but I think Newnham's a good combo of both. Okay, nice. And Emily, women? How? Yeah, yeah, women. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what people always say when they ask you about Newnham for the first time, because obviously it's an all-women's college. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I agree with Lizzie, like, it's quite um, liberal as Cambridge colleges go, so that's quite good. And, um, the buildings are, yeah, the buildings are really pretty. The garden is really nice. Yeah, haven't been there myself, can confirm. It's not just bias, but it's really, really pretty. But how much do you think that living at an all-female college kind of shapes your day-to-day? -day? Um, I think, I don't know. I suppose, like, if you've gone to a mixed school, it can be quite, like, a refreshing change to... Um, like just not have annoying boys or actually <laughs> um also um i think a lot like cambridge boys especially can be very like um like they'll you'll notice in like lectures or in the, and in like stuff like the union events like they'll always be the ones raising their hands and like making points and being the most confident about what they're saying so it's nice to be in cambridge which is such a like male dominated environment it's nice to have like kind of retreat to a space that's not like that yeah i agree so, and also it's just like, nice to be able to walk around the corridors in a t-shirt and you're just like not gonna bump into a guy on the way to the bathroom and also it means the bathrooms and kitchens are cleaner oh oh true parts <laughs> so is it like quite a social environment what does that mean for you i mean i would say like it's probably not known as one of the more social colleges like okay like it's not like a party college really <laughs> I think the friends that you make at newnham um are really good like the people that go to newnham top quality but um the bar is not particularly social most of the time unless there's like a um like a big event on which only happens a couple of times a term um right. so if you want like a college kind of close to like everything that's happening like maybe Newnham is not for you but then everything in Cambridge is close anyway so you're not like missing yeah. out yeah um, that's what I was gonna say is like the, the social life in the college is not it's not huge it's definitely not a party college and like I've had. Do you remember Lizzie that time when they knock, when someone knocked on our door because we were playing cards? Yeah. <laughs> we were like, keep the <laughs> But um, oh my god! But it is like super close to. Um, it's super close to all the clubs and everything, and also it's like. There's there is like lots of social stuff going on that's not like parties. Yeah. As well. Like especially the um, the LGBT, uh, the, L <laughs> huh. 
they like like lots of the societies do like lots of stuff like weekly and stuff so there is stuff going on but yeah not the box yeah. are awful and i was gonna say like it's probably if you're into maybe social stuff that isn't so like alcohol based like Noonan does quite a lot of that sort of thing like there like I noticed that with like Freshers Week they were like you know here's an event that you can do that's like in the daytime and like we're just gonna drink coke or whatever yeah. and then they've also got like events for international students like BME students so I think if you want kind of like an inclusive social life then maybe it's a good option yeah yeah and also like yeah you can as, like as with everywhere like if you want to party and that you can find people who do um yeah it's all just about finding your like you the group of people who do what you want to do fair enough so say like you're fed up with studying and like you just want to let like, go for the evening like talk me through it what would your ideal kind of evening plans look yeah. like at Cambridge <laughs> 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 um I think probably like we'd like um like hang out in someone's room like have a chat and a drink and then maybe go to the bar because the drinks are quite cheap there if something was going on um but not stay there for long (laughs) and then go out to whatever else we were doing like whether it was a party at another college or um like an event like a kind of like a theatre thing or like a club or a pub or like there's lots of things that could it could turn into but yeah we'd usually start in someone's room usually and fairs and fairs yeah realistically every night yeah every time yeah they do lots of um like the clubs in Cambridge are obviously like really bad but they do quite a lot of alternative events and stuff um and they're also bad but they're really fun yeah I guess sometimes you can kind of enjoy the kind of cheese of it all I mean I know there's like this rivalry between Oxford and Cambridge whose nightlife is worse um so would you would you recommend to somebody out there that they do kind of give the clubs a try yeah I'd say like obviously give them a try and like think I don't know Fez is just kind of a funny place to be like it's good it rolls off the tongue (laughs) um you'll see everyone else in Cambridge and like you know it's late at night and you know people are drinking so things happen in Fez like it's not as well like it is a club like it's a bad club but it like you know it does the job it does the job <laughs> better than Cindy's, but like, yeah, we actually do have quite a lot of clubs in Cambridge for such a small. Oh, like, quite a lot. There's like three. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. There's Fez. There's Fez, Cindy, Lola's, Revs. Oh, I f- yeah, I forget about yeah, that. Junction. That's true. Okay. Is that it? Actually, <laughs> that's still quite a lot for a small place. Still coming out. <laughs> So, but no, they're fine. I would say, yeah, if I was going to use an adjective for the clubs in Cambridge, they're fine. And, um, but they are worse than Oxford. Wow, thank you. I mean, finally, something. Um, <laughs> so you said about, like, I don't know, Noon and perhaps not being in the heart of everything. How much waiting do you think, like, location should have when somebody is choosing what college to apply to. I think New- Newnham's location is so good, actually. Why? Because it's like, it, first of all, it's right opposite Sidge. So if you take a humanities subject, you can get to your lectures in like five. Like I can get from my bed into the lecture theatre in five minutes. That's really good. And also, like, it's far out enough that you don't really get that many tourists. Um, but it's still close enough that you can, like, walk to whatever you want to go to in that. Yeah. Quite far away from Spoons, that's the only thing. Oof. That is true. But again, like, if you're going to get a bike, then you can get, like, pretty much 
99% of places you want to go in like five ten minutes yeah that's true yeah I'm right in saying like there's like huge kind of Edinburgh bike shed that you guys have near the front of the site yeah yeah there's a really good bike shed like it's got um like card operated doors so they're all really like secure I, just, I hope they are because I've left my bike there yes <laughs> over the back boss move <laughs> Okay, well, that's pretty fancy. And I mean, I've noticed kind of in like where you walk in through the Porter's Lodge and it's all kind of really quite modern. Would you say that overall, Newnham is quite a modern thinking college? Yeah, I mean, like as Cambridge goes, probably yes. Like, I think. Um, there are definitely still a lot of problems in that like on our first um like what was it called the dinner that we had on the tuesday when we first arrived like they were very proud at like showing the back wall and being like it's not all old white men but it was all old white women <laughs> and, like, God. it was still most and it was still mostly men even though it's a women's college yeah like i think there are still um like as far as like any kind of um, like elite power structures gonna go like it's always gonna have its issues but I think like I don't know Newnham Newnham lets me live with a little bit of hope in my life so I think it's fine yeah so the porters did not the porters didn't confiscate the banner well they did when it was put up yeah but they didn't get mad at me when I like asked them where it was <laughs> What you're allowed to, you're allowed to yeah. check for yourself. Yeah. 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 As long as it's within fire regulations. <laughs> can you can you tell any more or is it strictly confidential? What about fire regulations? No, no, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, 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 I know that that's something that you guys keep under lock. No, I mean like Emily, what did you do? It was just a living wage one. Yeah. yeah. Go on, Lizzie. Oh, we just we made this banner um for like a living wage campaign and we put it up in Newnham, but it was gone within like the day. <laughs> we tried. A for effort. <laughs> yeah. Okay, first. So like if I admit I came along to the college and I went down to the library where would I most often find you? Like, whereabouts and do you like to study? I think the Newnham Library is probably quite good in that it has lots of different options, like space-wise. Like, it's got a group study room, I think, and it's also got um, nice little seats by the window. Um, there's, like, an old library and a new library. And in the old library downstairs, there's some little, like, cushion bits if you just want to, like, lie down and read so I think um it really like depends on my mood really and like it's in the old library like in the upstairs but you can be on a desk like facing other people if you want the sense of like watching someone work but you also have the option of like hiding away a little bit in the upstairs of the modern library they've got lots of like nooks and crannies um but they also have yeah I like I like working in the old library mostly um yeah i like sitting opposite from people so i can just like watch them working and then just like not work myself <laughs> and then you can also like see everyone coming and going yeah i like the bean bags actually i like reading on the bean bags yeah, yeah the bean bags quite a good spot they're so good so like you can get a mix between like when you really want to just like lock yourself away and get something done or like you just kind of want to half-heartedly chill yeah definitely. i like it i like it and also um i i remember you saying about like how your bar is not the best but you've also got like a cafe at the college as well don't you i mean what's your favorite thing to get at the iris cafe um big fan of an oat latte at the iris cafe oh oh yeah that's it's so good 
and the the cap the oat cappuccino is really good too. And the falafel burger was good. I've never eaten there because it's really expensive. I was yeah, about to ask for, for a burger. Yeah. But the drinks are really cheap, but the like the coffees are like a decent price, but yeah, the the food is really pricey. Yeah, it's like two pounds for a coffee, but five pounds for a sandwich. Like, yeah, but the focaccia looks so good, and everyone says it's so good. It's um, yeah, so like our our bar sucks, but the cafe is so good, and like everyone comes over from. Oh, it's a bit annoying because it's really nice, so everyone comes over from Sige because obviously it's like right opposite. Um, just it is kind of annoying. We yeah, have started like saving booths for Newnham students because yeah, I think. <laughs> And then if you see a man sat in the booths, you're like... <laughs> okay, nice one. Glad that they're taking action to kind of keep what's yours. So what would you recommend instead? Like, I don't know, maybe the pricey for catch might be worth it. But where would you go instead? To eat. Mm -hmm. mm. The buttery is not that expensive, really. If you want like someone to make food for you. Yeah, brunch. brunch. So good. When's brunch? Just, I mean, asking for a friend. Sundays. At, wait, and Saturdays as well. And Saturdays, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really good. The hash browns are awesome. They're so good. But yeah, um, and the mushroom risotto in the in the buttery is really nice. Yeah, the buttery is quite good. Um, but like the the kitchens, like some of the kitchens are so nice. My yeah, kitchen. True. So we do a lot of cooking. Well, actually, Lizzie's was awful. Mine yeah, was, mine was horrendous. <laughs> yeah. And then next year, ours, next year ours is also really bad. Well, it's better than mine was. It's better than yours, but mine, my kitchen last year was like a restaurant kitchen. Yeah, it was really good. And now this year, we're just like moving back into a scummy one. But yeah, um, so yeah. So we, I, I usually eat like my own food. Oh, Guardius is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. I mean, this is interesting to hear because, um, I mean, Lizzie, you saw my kitchen from last year, but I don't think you could actually call it a kitchen. In my college accommodation, it was like a storage cupboard. It was like a kitchenette. Um, you so just a kettle. Yeah, we had we had like a, a a kettle, two microwaves. We did get hobs. We eventually got hobs after um, like a year long installation project and two fridges so that was what that's what we called a kitchen um but mainly because everybody ate in our dining hall because our dining hall was really cheap um so like how important is that um for your accommodation like i know that maybe you've chosen like accommodation for next year um like is it important to have a kitchen that you can all share and enjoy Well, we messed up our accommodation next year, so... <laughs> How come? What yeah. happened? That's the whole story. <laughs> Go on, we got time. <laughs> I don't want to, like, bait out the room officer, the halls officer, but... Um, okay. He deserves to be baited out. But, <laughs> yeah, um, there was this room guide with, like, all the... Um, it had, like, it everything... Was kind of, it was kind of our fault, to be fair. Yeah, they did warn us, but we just like ignored the warning and then blamed them for it. But it's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, there's just they have they make a room guide of like all the rooms in college and like pictures of them, so you can like choose what room you want. Um, and then it turned out that like all the second floor rooms in a certain building, all the pictures were mixed up, and like we'd picked rooms in that building, so we were like running around the building, like knocking on people's doors, like, "Can we see your room, please?" It was just a bit of a nightmare, but we got there in the end. Got there in the end. We got it, it won't happen next year. It will probably happen again next year. Actually, no, I think I've learned my lesson. Yeah. I'd say, like, yeah, normally the kitchen, but, like, the bedroom's more important than the kitchen anyway. And also, most of the kitchens don't have dining tables and stuff. So, like, you kind of can't, you can't really, like, sit down and eat a meal in the kitchen anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. if it's nice or not most of the time. You have to like just like go back to your room or like have people back to your room or whatever. But I do yeah. think that like Newnham's one of the only colleges that will give you ovens in the kitchen. So if yeah, that's, that's true. true. 
that that is true and i like making bread so that's like quite good i mean i'll come over next time but like do you know any other colleges that allow ovens or well, I, don't I think most of them only have like hobs. Everyone was yeah, everyone was so jealous of my kitchen last year. They did flood at one point, but like even when it flooded and I showed people the video of it flooding, they were just like, What? <laughs> Too hot with an oven? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love to see it. So like your actual room is and you say that, like they're what matters. Um, what is it all did you First of all, did you stay in a room at interviews? Um, and then what was like your first impression when you actually did move into your first year of room? Um, the room that I had on interview was like, it was quite plain. It was close to the center and it had a sink. So that was nice, but um, it was like inside viewing. So I was just looking at a wall through the window, but my first year room, like the actual room I ended up with had a lot nicer view um so yeah I think it really depends like there's lots of different rooms in Unum because it's like a mix of old and new buildings like you really don't know what you're gonna get but all of them are nice yeah I, I didn't have to stay over all my interviews were on one day so the first time I saw Unum accommodation was like when I opened the door so they don't tell you where you're going either before so it was literally, I got my room key and I opened the door and that was the first time I saw it. But yeah, um, my room was nice, actually. It was quite, um, it was a bit small, but it was still, like, it was big, but it was small for, like, a Newnham room. The rooms are often really big at Newnham. Um, and Lizzie's view is definitely better than mine. But, yeah, but I'm a lot further away. So <laughs> far away. Yeah, by that we mean, like, a two-minute walk, but... Yeah. Which are miles away. No one would ever come to Lizzie's room. <laughs> yeah, it was like my birthday that I had to formally invite everyone to my room. I'm like, guys, it's it's great here. Like, finally, come see how I live. But... Yeah, how the other half live because we were so lazy. But um, yeah, the rooms are really nice. And then next year, me and Lizzie have like mirroring rooms. Hopefully, yeah. But if COVID doesn't get in the way. We're supposed to. We've got chaise longs, which is the most important thing. Yeah. That's so exciting. Oh yeah, um, the furnace is really good. Oh yeah. So like from your experience, what's that like? Like lots of antique stuff. I had like a antique dress, like dresser desk thingy. And like a chest. Which yeah, is like, a chair. yeah. So yeah, they've got like some really nice furniture. But then the only annoying thing is, even if you've got loads and loads of random stuff, they usually won't let you, like, move it out. There's yeah, they, they get quite weird about, like, moving stuff around. Maybe they're just quite protective. <laughs> I know ours is the same, where, like, um, because it's a balloted system, which I kind of like, because it does mean that everybody's kind of equal, it isn't kind of exclusive like you don't have like tears and stuff and yeah you don't kind of know where you're going to be until you just kind of roll up with all your stuff and they give you a key and off you go but everyone kind of learns to love it in their own different ways like if you're far away but you've got good views or if you're closer and you've got a slightly smaller room it you know everyone's got their own like perks and stuff so you mentioned about like okay so Lizzie you stayed like overnight at interviews and Emily you didn't um Obviously, interviews is like a really crucial time. So, if it wasn't all like just a blur, um, what's a, like a, I don't know. What's the first kind of experience that comes to mind when you think back to that time? Um, I think I just remember like thinking I was not going to get in because I shook their hands at the end rather than the beginning. Like, I think you're going to pick yourself up on, like, really dumb things like that that don't really matter. And I think, like, the most important thing is probably to just, like, relax. What did you, what did you rely on to calm your nerves? Um, they've got, like, on the all the interview days like they've got Newnham students walking about all the time that were like 
reassure you if you're worried. Um, oh, yeah. Really, really friendly. Yeah, and I met a really nice girl, and she was like, oh, I really, really hope you get in. She was like, you're my favourite from this whole day. And then I saw her again when I came to Newnham, but I forgot who she was. But my mum, like, my mum remembered her or something. I don't know, actually, because my mum wasn't there on interview day, but my mum knew who she was. And anyway, that girl got really offended, and now I've never seen her since. It's, really, it's actually quite sad. Yeah, I was, um, I was like, half an hour late for my interview. And they were kind of quite chill about it. They were like, yes, okay. Um, yeah, the interviews were super fun. They were really good. In what way? That's that's a surprise. What fun? Oh, they were just like it was like very challenging, and the people were really like obviously they were like so clever. And one of them was my um, director of studies from this year, but obviously I didn't know him then. But yeah, and he's like such a nice guy. So yeah, it was just really fun. And like we were talking about, I. For the philosophy interviews, obviously, it was a really stupid questions about ethics and that. Um, Didn't you have one about, like, a dog? Yeah, like, is it wrong to... Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong to, to hurt a dog? Why is it wrong to hurt a dog which doesn't feel pain? Like, why is it wrong to injure it? Stuff like that, yeah. So it was so fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was a bit too chilled out, though. Like, I was just, like, giving them funny anecdotes trying to make them laugh um, is there such thing as being too chilled out when it comes to applying to a college um, i don't know i got in yeah <laughs> maybe not yeah i think like um it probably depends what college you're at like newnham i think is generally quite um what's the word nice um yeah. in like if you're talking about kind of um, bursary wise or like extenuating circumstances, stuff like that, I think they do take a lot of that into account. Um, I don't, yeah, places like, um, like interviews at Trinity I've heard are a lot more um, hard, well not hard, but like um, kind of try and scare you. And like, but Newnham interview interviewers won't try and scare you. So. Really fun. Yay. And I mean, the students aren't exactly scary either, so that's nice. Um, but I have a couple of questions that are just nagging at me that I have to ask you guys. And the first one is um, if you guys have like your canteen and stuff, how do you do formal dinners? How does that work? I mean, the dining hall's a different room, so um, okay. we have like where you'd eat every day is just kind of it looks like it's kind of school canteen um but if you're having a formal dinner it'll be in a separate hall which has like all the fancy ceilings and like oxbridge stuff yeah like paintings of people looking really depressed yep oh amazing how often do you go to those um i think in first term I only went once, and then I can't really remember. I think you went in to the Valentine's Day one. Yeah, I went to the Valentine's Day one, um, and I went to the the one that welcomed us back, which was like a lunch. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah so awesome. probably like only a couple of times a year, unless you want to, unless you're really keen on them and you want to like book them with your friends or something. But like the automatic ones that everyone does is only like three times a year, I think. You get free, yeah, you get one free one a year. But I, what I would say as advice is you only get free wine on the ones that, like, everyone gets invited to. Like, if you book one, you don't get free wine. So bring your own you wine. bring your own wine. <laughs> and, only like a pound, and you have to pay, like, a pound. You have to pay a quarter for it. Yeah. Only the well, I've never been to one of those. I only, went to, I only went to the free ones. Someone's hacked it. I mean, how did you learn about free wine the hard way? Oh, I just went and I expected free wine and I just saw like all of the JCR members and like all the tutors getting poured glasses and I was getting nothing. I was like, oh, I see how it is. The wine is actually horrible as well. Yeah, it's not great, but you know, again, it does the job. <laughs> and yeah, and it is free. Yeah, I mean, you can't have everything, right? The key is you have to drink it quickly because 
otherwise if you haven't drunk it when they come around to fill up again you're not getting any more exactly but oh yeah that is the thing is Newnham is not that good with the free wine situation because like I know at Christ's um you just get it gets filled up every time your glass is empty but at Newnham you only get you get one glass like per course pretty much yeah out okay nice and just before you go, um, we can't leave without talking about Newnham's amazing gardens. Because I didn't think of it as being like a college with big grounds, but then like coming and walking around, it's surprisingly massive. And like you have all your sports grounds and stuff as well. So, like, what's your favourite part of the gardens? Can you tell us about it. That's hard. <laughs> yeah. Um... Like the sunken rose gardens really nice. Oh yeah. With the because there's like a little tiny pond in the middle of it, which is pretty. The pond is a bit gross sometimes though. Yeah, well, it was winter. I I imagine it would be nice now. Oh yeah, that was so sad that we missed it. Apparently the um, they, they've got ir- like so many irises in, like at the end of the sports fields. Oh. Um, but then they obviously weren't in flower when we were there, and then we had to go. But yeah, um. The gardens are just so pretty. The gardeners are so talented. I like the bit by Peel. I like the, there's like a swing seat at the end. Yeah, that's really nice. And there's like an orchard bit. And the grass, is, yeah, the lawns are really nice. Yeah, and you can yeah. walk on them. And you can walk on, you can walk on them, yeah. Yeah, something that it's very easy to take for granted that you can just kind of lie down and know you like, senior white male is going to come along and shout at you that's really nice yeah i think at some colleges like you can only walk on the grass if you get a first or something which is just <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> so bad and the fact that like other people would have to know that you got a first like you'd have to be that much of a brag nah um, i'm good <laughs> if you get a first is that a thing i thought it was just like dons can I think the dons like give you permission if you get a first in first year. Yeah, I mean, I'd never know, but it's definitely a thing, I think, at some colleges. So that's one thing that makes you guys stand out, I guess. And I'm blown away about the whole irises because I've suddenly realised that's probably where your cafe gets its name. Yeah. It all works. Wow. (laughs) Okay, cool. When it first started, it was the, um, the students did all the gardening. All the women did all the gardening back in the day. Um, now, are you grateful that it's things have changed, or would you like to try your hand at trimming the lawn? I wouldn't mind. I think it'd be quite a welcome break, but yeah, yeah. it is. Well, welfare, I guess. Mm. That is true. Like, um, do you guys have like welfare support? What do they put in place for you? Um, yeah, there's a couple of welfare officers um, who you can always go to if you need someone. Um, there's a college counsellor, there's a college nurse who you get introduced to in your first um, couple of days. Um, and you'll have like your college parents as well who will help you if you need things. So yeah, I think there's like a lot of places to go. Yeah, so you always feel at home and I don't know, imposter syndrome can be such a huge Oxbridge problem and I'm really glad you guys have shared your experiences today because it makes it feel to me like Newnham is not a place where that's a problem and yeah, may that continue. So thanks so much for joining us today. Um, I hope people out there have learned as much about your college as I have. Um, and yeah, just piecing everything together. Um, I guess I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you very much. Bye.